Hi, a new film I watched this week was Long Legs, the horror thriller written and directed by Osgood Perkins. It's the story of an FBI agent who, after showing apparent near clairvoyant ability to detect a killer, is brought into a long-established cold case, that of a mysterious serial killer called Long Legs, who in some way is able to influence families into murdering themselves, whilst leaving strange coded messages behind. It turns out that our FBI agent has some kind of past connection to Long Legs, who has a strange and disturbing agenda of his own. Um, this film has been very highly acclaimed already, and it's been a surprise smash hit um, on its own terms. It's distributed by Neon, a relatively new um, company, but it's been their biggest ever hit. And uh, Nicolas Cage, who co-stars as Long Legs, has, ha has had his biggest live action hit in 15 years. Um, the film had his biggest opening weekend since Knowing in 2009, I think. Um, it owes a huge debt to films like Silence of the Lambs and Seven. And uh, there's a certain element of the X-Files as well, which is a big influence uh, from Silence of the Lambs. But I must say, and honestly, I found it somewhat underwhelming. Um, Perkins has uh, already established a track record as a writer and director in a number of previous films. And I very much liked his previous film, Gretel and Hansel, uh, twisted, well, inevitably, um, horror-inflected version of the fairy tale. But he was only the director on that, and he demonstrates in this film real talent and uh, a gift for direction. Uh, the atmosphere, the pacing, the editing is all very measured, very careful. Even the simple shot compositions and framing, the way that um, Longleg's face is kept obscure for most of the film. Um, shows very careful use of image and sound and editing to create the right atmosphere. But it isn't matched by the writing. Um, the script is, if anything, far too cluttered. There are so many ideas fighting for attention. And there is so much that goes unexplained partially, I think, through a deliberate choice for mood, like when un un Long Legs is finally revealed, exactly who or what he is is still somewhat vague, particularly the reason why he looks like that. Um, but there are other elements in the story, like satanic influence and reveals of how the murders were committed, or other elements feel like they're they're not fully formed. They're not fully connected together. I feel the film has enough elements that you can pull it all together and work out what the real story is, but it feels somehow underwhelming. Um, and I found it disappointing that it was really making the audience work a lot harder than it needs to, just to figure out what the story is, to figure out what the threat is, to figure out what the the reasoning is for for the danger and as a result it it just seemed really to be really not measuring up to the the level of hype it's had although it's been brilliantly promoted by neon uh, they've been running trailers and a very unusual marketing campaign for a very long time now and it's really paid off and it shows that they know how to promote a movie in an interesting and original way but the resulting product isn't quite there. Uh, Micah Monroe, as the FBI agent, I thought was strong, but is deliberately somewhat distanced. There's obviously an echo of Clary Starling, but her slightly flat affect in the way she speaks and behaves, I thought it, it partly shows that she's somewhat asocial, where she's, she's asked in by her, uh, her boss to visit her, to see her family, to see his family, rather. And she says, well, I have to. And says it in such a, a, a flat way that you think this is pointing towards some um, behavioural disorder or neuroatypicality, but it's never really got into. And as a result, the performance could be taken as just being weak and flat rather than a deliberate choice. In contrast, you have Nicolas Cage's long legs, who for much of the film is a, an off-screen presence, a voiceover, 
he has his back to the camera and it's a long time until you get a good look at it, what he actually looks like. Um, it's one of his best performances. Um, it's deliberately very strange and very unnatural. But Cage has this incredible ability to make the outlandish and the unnatural seem credible, to find some way of grounding this bizarre character, like so many other bizarre characters he's playing, in the real world. That makes Long Legs so much more threatening and so much more frightening, um, particularly when his true agenda and his true nature are only obliquely revealed later on. And we never really get a sense of why this person is like this. What made this thing that we're looking at? We never really understand that. And that makes it so much more worrying and so much more frightening. There are so many interesting ideas that fighting for interest. And it just seems like a, a lack of focus and a lack of discipline in the writing has led to the script just being a bit too shaggy and a bit too crowded and just not cohering into something satisfying. When the direction and the, as I say, the editing, the performances, you have know, Blair Underwood and, and Alicia Witt in excellent supporting roles, um, the production design of, the, of this very wintry, desolate Oregon landscape looks great and is so so supportive of the tone of the movie everything is pushing towards the right tone the right mood the right the right kind of mindset into which the audience should be pushed but the writing isn't there and although it's possible for um a weak production to scupper a strong script no level of strong direction can save something this jumbled and this not half-hearted necessarily, but ill-formed. And as a result, despite great direction, a great performance from Nicolas Cage, was I say, one of his best, and strong work in other areas, Perkins' script is just not good enough.